Hey everybody, welcome back to Primetime Flashpoint Wrestling, PTFPW for short. We're in year two, it's the last week of May, it's Saturday night, and that means it's time for our last show before our first uh, super show. With that being said, welcome to this week's episode of PTFPW Saturday Night Reaction, and let's talk about what we got on the card for tonight. We have our usual uh, elimination eight-pack challenges for the women and men who were... uh, you know, not so fortunate in their matches this week to try to redeem themselves. And then for our wild card matches, as I call them, because I just kind of pick and choose what match I want to do and who's going to be in it. Really based on nothing, honestly. Uh, we're going to have a one-on-one match for the women with uh, Little Mean Kathleen taking on Shannon Levangi, and we're going to have a one-on-one match for the guys with Love Doug taking on uh, newcomer Steven Stetson. And, uh, like I said, Mass Hole and Armani, Mimi and Whitman, still have those two matches left on the card for tomorrow night. Speak up if you want to uh, take those two slots so you guys can all uh, settle your business. With that being said, opening contest begins right now. anticipated matches ever. She is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in tonight's match. say the superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun. Hey, 
maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> that is horrible advice. Here she comes. And representing the deleter of worlds from the other side of darkness, adorable demon. You know, it takes a lot of work to be considered the most egotistical talent in WWE. What are you talking about, Cole? All I see here is a competitor with a healthy amount of self-confidence. That's because your ego is almost as big as theirs, Corey. This is a match she has long been asking for. She is more than ready to compete tonight. Here we go, she is ready. And representing Le Femme Vetas from Providence, Rhode Island, Cry Baby! And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. A woman meant for the highlight reel. She plans on even more excitement tonight. Representing the Misfits from Green Bay, Wisconsin, Sunshine. Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger. Really, Saxton? You know a number of people in the back just despise this superstar. Well, the WWE Universe clearly disagrees with you, Corey. Oh, and what else is new? One of the most anticipated matches we've had in quite some time. And this woman is the reason why. She's in a fighting mood tonight. And representing Le Femme Veta from Boston, Massachusetts. The Oh, the swagger, the boasting, the downright arrogance of this athlete. Honestly, it's more than I can bear. Good. Feel free to excuse yourself at any time. I'll be here to celebrate their well-earned appreciation of themselves. She has been counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match, and she is now ready to compete.
one of the best competitors in the women's division. And representing the Varsity Club from San Diego, California, adorable Alexia Edwards. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Determination in her eyes. She is more than ready for competition. This woman is ready to fight. And their opponent, representing the Headbangers, from Paul Tuckett, Rhode Island, Blacknum, Perfect 10. With the size of this superstar's ego, I have no idea how the rest of us can even fit in the venue. Hyperbole does not suit you, Saxon. We're looking at a high-caliber athlete right now. Ego is well-deserved. Corey, I'm inclined to agree with you on that. Ego or not, we're looking at a special talent. Such a talented competitor. I think we're about to see one of her best matches yet. The ring is almost overflowing with superstars in this eight-pack match. So many superstars, but only one will win. Long odds for all competitors involved, but each and every one will fight to the finish. I guarantee it. She manages to get control. Got the knees up just in time. Straight to the knee. There's certainly an element of danger inherent in a no disqualification match, isn't there, Corey? More than a lot of people realize. It's not just the superstar in the ring you have to worry about. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match can swing with or against you so fast. Target in the arm now. Around the neck. Ooh, treading all over there. Jawbreaker! Call it down and call it that kick. Ooh. Evil to reverse. Up the ropes. Doesn't get that cover. Swing 
brings in momentum. Every push has been cut off. He gets inside the ring. Uh-oh. What's this going to be? Figure eight. 
You can see the agony on her face. This is painful. Tap out. Producing a trampoline. She finding the strength. This is unreal. Into a small package. Very, very nice. Kick gets caught. Out of the way in time. Off the barricade. She returns the favor there. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Kick to the body and a shot. He's looking for the win. What a suplex. Oh, but how? How? I don't believe it. Oh, what a chop. Not done yet. Neck, shoulders down. Able to get the advantage here. And that will do better. He's showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Under the rope she goes. She's in the ring now. Golly, that sounded rough. She turns it right around with a counter. These two showing how well scouted they each are. A counter answered by another counter. Side. This could get wild. Climbs back inside. Here is your winner, adorable, Alexia Edwards. And what an uphill battle it was to outlast every other superstar in this match. Defying the odds, accomplishing the seemingly impossible, that's what elimination matches are all about.
trust me I've been dodging death in the six feet Got my stomach feeling sickly Oh, yeah, I like this guy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Headbangers from Parts Unknown. Weighing in at 163 pounds. The Brawler! Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. This is a guy who always seeks out the highest level of competition, and I think he'll get it tonight. Those guys 
from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 158 pounds, Smoke Showbo. I'll tell you one thing, I don't think I've ever seen a more self-centered superstar in my time here in WWE. Well then, Byron, you've clearly never seen the WWE Hall of Fame. Hey, everyone in the Hall of Fame has a reason to have an ego. This superstar, they haven't earned it just yet. A man who elevates his game every week. He is competing at his highest level yet. This is going to be good. believe what a superiority complex this superstar has. It takes a lot more competitors than this one to make WWE go around. Yeah, but it only takes one superstar to be the center of the universe, Saxton, and you're looking at him right now. He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with the competition level this high. Molded by the gods without a flaw. Can you feel the presence of greatness near? This hand is look, and pretty is here. Super good looking, every hair in place. Everyone loves this gorgeous face. You can't deny my beauty shot. for bed tonight. The competition level has never been higher, but this guy's ready to prove he can hang. about to see something good. And from 
Manchester, New Hampshire, weighing in at 396 pounds, King Pine. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. One of the best superstars around. And their opponent from Manchester, New Hampshire. Weighing in at 165 pounds, the world. I think this might be, no, I, I'm certain this is the most self-absorbed person in all of WWE. Well, I've had about enough of your character assassination, Saxton. Just because you don't have any self-confidence doesn't mean others have to go without it. I applaud those who know how much better they are than the rest of us. He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. Eight superstars in the ring to start this match, but there will be only one winner. Action from every angle, every superstar for themselves. It's going to be crazy to watch and do commentary for. Oh, it is trapped now and just that oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. You know, I have to ask Corey, how much of an actual strategy is there in a no disqualification match? Honestly, it depends on the superstar's mindset. Some just want to get through it. Others want to inflict as much damage as possible. And some just go with the flow. Know which mindset you have before the match and stick to it. Man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow.
performance. Up and over. Climbing up to the top now. Beauty shot. Lead the night. Here he goes for the win. Incoming. Oh, my God. A completely ill-advised decision. Likely going to pay for it in the rest of this match. The WWE Universe. Trio woe, no escape in sight. Yeah. Uh oh! And the knees! Here's his window. Will he 
one coming. Two. He's still in this fight. Oh, I thought that was game over. Pure guts. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. In trouble in the grass. Oh, this one's over. Tap out coming. There it is. Inflicting more damage to the end. Eliminated. Coming back into the ring. Back to the act. We're going to finish it off. Oh, Guys, I think this one's over. To the top rope now. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Up high. Cross body from the top. For the win. Two. Oh, and an air fall. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Well scouted reversal there. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, man. Great reversal. Insuring yeah. uh, back. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. He decides. Jeez. surviving against every other superstar in this match. Oh yeah, you have to believe this win is going to stick with them for a long time. Surviving against all these other superstars and standing tall here and now. Well, that's a big win for Scotty Slade tonight. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here comes Masshole Mike McCarthy making his way to the ring. Hey, Armani, great loss out there, buddy. Knew you had it in you. I'm gonna lay this out there, nice and clear. You seem to have a problem with me. So much of a problem that you've attacked me and thought dirty to the point where people are booing you and cheering me now. You attacked me backstage Thursday night. If you want another match with me, man up and ask. Pretty sure there's a spot or two left on the match card tomorrow night. Oh, here comes Armani back out after his uh, loss in, in the match that just ended. Hey, hey, mass hole without the M. So what you're trying to say is, thank you Armani for making me a fan favorite at your own expense. You're welcome. I think I ever cared about pleasing the fans. They cheered for me last year while I spent most of the year at the bottom of the win-loss records. Not happening this year. I decided to make a name for myself this year, and what better way to do that than take out a former New England champion? You want us to get back in the ring together tomorrow night at Reprisal? You're on. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mass Hole has laid out the challenge, and Armani has said he's more than willing to get back in the ring with him. So, we'll, uh, I mean, it's, you know, almost guaranteed to be made official, but we'll have to uh, wait and find out for sure, won't we? Anyway, back to our show and on to our next match.
quien estoy en mi p. Ey, y voy a seguirle ey, en mi p. Ey, ey, soy un rey, campeón, busca el ti. Ey, estoy en mi pick. Ey, y voy a seguirle en mi pick. Ey, ey, mírame, que tú qué, que tú qué, na, na, tú eres feca. Can you dig it, sucker? Ey. Here comes a true superstar. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing Le Fem Beta from Parts Unknown, Little Mean Cat. Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in our form. She loves the reaction she receives from the WWE Universe, and I think she's gonna take that energy into the match, too. ahead of her. She plans on proving exactly why she's worthy of big matches like these. And as this match gets started, we're looking at an unflinching superstar ready to throw down. True words spoken. She's been itching to get this fight started for quite some time now, but it'll be interesting to see if she's bitten off more than she could chew. I believe she's coming to this match with the exact attitude needed for the challenge. But she'll have to maintain her composure as she's going up against a woman with a penchant for getting under her opponent's skin. Made her pay for her mistake. Ooh -hoo. Oh, it's punishing the right arm. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. Multiple stops. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Uh-oh, she has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of this. She's got it locked in. No, she doesn't. That was a great counter and so simple. She scores big with the counter. I guess that's one way to incite your opponent. Oh my god, what an elbow. Pain it right back with a reversal. Reversal on top of reversal. Counter after counter. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, oh. man. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. Smash! Tossed into the corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. She's feeling the hurt here. Swayed across the top turnbuckle. Certainly not ideal. Ooh, well measured. Working on the leg. Put into place. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. 
Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Oh, that backfired on her. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Going Reach. up to the top. What are we gonna see here? Uh, Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh my oh. god. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, oh. man. Oh. In the leg. oh my. Wow, look at this submission. Agonizing. What? She died. Been done. Turned that one around. And that was just disrespectful. Impressive reversal there. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Up to the electric chair down for the drop. Counters. Watch out, German suplex! She might be in some trouble now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Oh, and she turns it around. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Oh, what a slap! Hooking it up here, what's next? Boom! Incredible suplex. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Should be it. Two. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. There you have it, the one standing tall at the end of this hotly contested match. This sort of win shakes up the women's division. Oh, wait a minute. Notorious Mimi walking down the ramp while Shannon Levangi is making her way out back after winning her match. Oh, that's oh the, the two the two nod. Okay, all right. Notorious Mimi's making her way to the ring. Let's see what she has to say. Good old Belmont. I caught you backstage last night for one reason and one reason only to show you that when it's just me and you without another competitor, without your buddy Uncle Eddie, that I can beat you. But you and me get in the ring again tomorrow night at reprisal, and you go ahead and bring Uncle Eddie, because someone else came to me and offered to be in my corner to even the playing field. Oh, speaking of Uncle Eddie, here he comes. On behalf of my leading lady, the Widow Belmont, we accept your challenge. It doesn't matter who offered to be in your corner, because you little bouncing bum bum girls are all the same, and none of you can hold a candle to a real female competitor like my widow Belmont. And since I have the power to make matches, let's make it official. Tomorrow night, you and your little bum bum versus my widow Belmont in a best two out of three falls match. And while I'm at it, Master Mike McCarthy versus Armani Chaos is official for tomorrow night too. Same rules. See you tomorrow night, kid. Well, uh, Un Uncle Eddie came out and made his opinion on most of our female roster uh, pretty, pretty clear. Uh, he, he says he prefers real female competitors as opposed to girls who walk around the ring shaking their bum bums. And, yeah, you know, I, I'm, the, I'm the managerial character, so i got to stay impartial about this crap. But um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and let Ed's decision stand that uh, both of these two out of three false matches are now official for tomorrow night. 
And uh, with that settled, let's go ahead and get back to our show because it's time for our main event. Saxton, just because you don't have any self-confidence doesn't mean others have to go without it. I applaud those who know how much better they are than the rest of us. Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition. a superstar that has all the tools to be one of the biggest names this business has ever seen. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big thing just yet, but his performance in this match could sway me. You're not the only person to be looking to convince tonight. But across the way is a man who's rededicated his focus. Someone who's been spending extra time training and scouting for his competition. Enough already. Got it scouted. Uh-oh, getting ready to elbow drop. He deflects it right back. Trouble here. A couple of elbows to the jaw, and that'll break things up. 
Oh my God! Catches a punch. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Placed him in the corner. He saw it coming. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. Dive into the leg drop. Good luck getting up from that. Two. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. No escape from these punches. Staved off that attack. Look at this, going counter for counter. just reeling from that offense. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. in that match. Let's have a look. That's going to be it for tonight's show. And, um, yeah. So it, it would seem that, um, it would seem that our match card for tomorrow night at Reprisal is officially filled. So Mass Hall, Mike McCarthy, and Armani Chaos will face each other in a two out of three falls reprisal match. And same thing for Notorious Mimi and uh, Widow Belmont. And Mimi says that she does have somebody who will be in her corner to even the playing field. I'll be curious to see who that is. Obviously, I already know who it is because I'm the one making these videos. But as far as my fictional managerial character goes, it'll be exciting to see who she picked. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it for tonight's show. Thank you all for watching. Hope everybody enjoyed it. And we'll see you tomorrow for our first uh, super show of our, our second calendar year in universe mode, PTFPW Reprisal.